So what is your roles and responsibilities in that project? That project, uh, uh, we have a four to five group. Uh, for each group, we have a 20 system to uh, deploy. So that system, like uh, uh, this, uh, I mean, data is coming in uh, as, per, uh, as, as per the client requirement or not. And uh, yeah, after that, uh, I mean, uh, after that, we have done the unit, unit testing, uh, I mean, uh, data is coming proper or not and mapping mapping things and testing part mm -hmm. so uh, may i know the format of the files that you receiving the system which i have worked that is database system so uh, the data the source data we are receiving from uh, ms access and the file format we use their dot mdb file format in this project our data is coming different different sources like if data is coming uh, different kind of source, so we are using a different uh, procedure. Their boards, uh, uh, API, and uh, other other thing also. What are the yes. different types of source? Like some data are coming in in the Excel format. Some is CSV. Some is database. So based on uh, source data, uh, we are using uh, this ingestion tool. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I, what I'm, my question is, uh, what are the sources? Data sources okay so uh, the system which i have worked uh, their data is coming in sftp file format yeah from where it is coming that is my question the data is coming in sftp path and the source was the source was uh, ms access okay all right so uh, what are the tools that you have used uh, uh, in your project extensively like uh, you know uh, landing uh, area and processing area and pre-processing so what are the tools that you have used for uh, you know executing all these steps mm -hmm. so uh, there for ingestion we have uh, used both tool this is kind of etl we can say and uh, after that uh, lending the data uh, like for dmp build we have used uh, rundeck uh, this is not kind of tool we can say uh, this is kind of uh, we can say uh, this uh, scheduling the job kind of gina we can say they are uh, like for each job we can uh, we can uh, trigger the job and uh, uh, yeah I mean yeah I mean run the data <clears throat> so kind of Gina there is run run will be there and mm -hmm. yeah that uh, high we can say for processing the data you for validating the data uh, this kind of thing used so you said you are using scoop right uh, no scoop I didn't use here so uh, uh, from source to Hadoop so which ingestion tools that you have used? Uh, the used boards. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is new tool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it uh, structured data or semi-structured data or unstructured data? Uh, this is structured data. What was the uh, you know approximate volume uh, for each file or uh, you know table? Mm -hmm. Yeah, their uh, file size uh, we received uh, daily. Uh, around uh, 300 MB. Mm -hmm. So is it daily load or uh, you know? Daily load, the... daily load. Data is coming daily from source side. So uh, you worked on Hive, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, what are the tables that you have created? Like uh, there are two types of tables, right? What are those and uh, what may, what is the difference between uh, each table? Okay, uh, there is like internal table and external table. Uh, so like in uh, external table, if we uh, uh, delete the data, so uh, data will be uh, delete, but met, I mean, uh, the metadata will be there. And if we, uh, if internal table, if we uh, drop the table, uh, metadata also will be drop. Mm -hmm. So mostly we uh, prefer to use, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, manage table only. But some uh, sometimes it's based on the client requirement also. Mm -hmm. What are the different types of metastore of Hive? So when you create a table, where actually metadata will be stored, or what uh, and where uh, actual data will be stored? Like in external table, we give the path. Mm -hmm. By default, uh, if uh, I think it's Hive and some path will be there. I I don't remember exactly. See, there is a metadata, right? When you create a table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, where this metadata will be stored? Mm -hmm. So, 
story i'm unable to recall this thing okay uh can you please uh tell me the high optimization techniques if based on query we want to optimize uh this thing uh, then uh, uh, we can use the bear clause and uh, 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 this uh, um, the file format also we can use for uh, for optimize uh, the query and uh, partition we can used uh, like uh, if let's like suppose if we have a um, uh, vast amount of data and we want to search particular thing so we, there we can use partition also can you please tell me about the partitions and bucketing concept what is the difference mm, like uh, in, in like in partitions uh, overall we use i mean uh, i mean bucketing concept comes from partition only but in uh, partitions like uh, suppose uh, we have uh, this uh, month of concept will be there like january february so if we want to search a particular uh, particular month data so uh, it will go to particular month and search the data so the i mean performance will be uh, fast in bucketing also uh, it's it's uh, based on partition only but a little bit uh, uh, difference will be there like uh, Mm-hmm. So, what is the uh, you know syntax to create a partition table? Let us say if you want to create a table with uh, three columns, name mm-hmm. and you know city and salary. So, I want to you know uh, create a table on city partition. So, what is the syntax? Hmm. Okay. Uh, like uh, like uh, suppose uh, one table will be there and uh, we want to create partition based on city uh, so uh, we can uh, create uh, uh, create table uh, partition column and all the parameter and uh, we can give it at the end uh, partition by uh, the city column and uh, uh, like yeah if, if we load the data in partition uh, column so directly we cannot load the data so suppose uh, one table will be there so uh, using that table uh, we can uh, load the data in partition table how will you load a partition table what is the command mm. uh, first of all let me know what are the different types of partitions uh, there is a two type i mean there is two way to create the partition mm mm-hmm. what are those for hard coding thing also we can do the partition based on uh, uh, based on uh, some city or something and uh, there is dynamic partition also like suppose uh, prior to create uh, the partition we don't know uh, the data uh, like how data is coming and uh, the data structure so there we can use dynamic partition if we know the data then uh, i mean uh, then we can uh, use this uh, uh, based on the column we can use the partition that's what like, to load any data like in a partition table what is the command uh, that you will write um, like insert overwrite and uh, the normal table we we have uh, we have done and into partition table we can do that's it will it load yes okay can you please explain uh, different types of joins in hive Uh, the left outer join right outer join and uh, full outer join mm-hmm. will i have supports the uh, ep join ep join no ep join don't support what is the ep join as far as i remember what is ep join mm, right now okay and able to recall this okay thing. What is Thrift Server in Hive? Which one? Thrift Server. Thrift Server. Yeah. Have any idea? Mm, no. Okay. So I will give you two three commands. Like uh, there is a where condition and order by condition and where order by limit so which one execute first where order by limit 
first uh, it used where mm -hmm. yeah first it is used uh, where internally if you run the query then uh, then uh, order by limit mm -hmm. so <clears throat> you are aware of hdfs right yeah yeah what is the file size or uh, you know uh, in hdfs or block size 1 127 are you sure it's i think based on version also right i do two so, version only two and yeah. above i do two i think no that is 128 i do two mm -hmm. so why i do two Uh, it is one twenty eight. Why not more than that? That is I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Acha, what is rack awareness in Hadoop? Okay, uh, wait. And uh, uh, do you know about uh, job speculation in Hadoop? Uh, what is that? Job speculation. Job speculation. no okay what is a name node what it will do uh like in uh, name node uh, uh, keep all the information uh like uh, uh, i mean uh, um, uh, keep all the informations uh, and give the instructions uh, how have to serve serve the job no i'm just asking what is the name node what it will do that is the question a name node data, data node two will, two thing will be there so name node uh, have all the informations like uh, how the data is coming uh, all the information like how, uh, how the data is serving and who who uh, like who are the free uh, this time and uh, who need to uh, need to allocate the work so this kind of information uh, have name node only So what resource manager will do then? Have any idea? Right now, unable to recall. What is HDFS fault tolerant? So what is the internal architecture of uh, Spark? You are aware of RDDs and data frames in Spark? uh yeah yeah uh, yeah like uh, like uh, that's what i'm saying uh, like uh, everything in spark internally rdd only based on rdd concept uh, it will work mm -hmm. so uh, you are aware of uh, difference between rdd and uh, data frame mm, yes like in rdd uh, data will not be in the in the proper structure format in data frame uh, the data will be the structure format so mostly uh, like in project uh, we prefer to use data frame only mm -hmm. so what what was the version that you have used in your application mm, like last to last project uh, i i have used uh, is 2.2.1 and is scala 2.11 what is the distribution that you have used uh distribution in the sense you are asking for a spark or what no there is a hot and box map or and cloud era there are many uh, right uh yeah but now this hot ones were combined with cloud era so we use combined thing So what was the version of this uh, uh, Cloudera? Uh, Cloudera version uh, that is very long time, so exactly I don't remember this version. Okay. And that. Uh, thank you. Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. Thank. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you.